Good morning and welcome to Face the Nation. John Dickerson is off today. I'm Margaret Brennan. There is breaking news this morning as North Korea says they've successfully tested a hydrogen bomb capable of being mounted on a missile that could reach the U.S. mainland. If so, it's a dramatic escalation in North Korean President Kim Jong-un's efforts to build his country's nuclear capability. President Trump has tweeted the first official U.S. response saying, their words and actions continue to be very hostile and dangerous to the United States. North Korea is a rogue nation which has become a great threat and embarrassment to China, which is trying to help but with little success. We begin our coverage with CBS News correspondent Ben Tracy reporting from Tokyo. North Korea triumphantly confirmed its test of a hydrogen bomb on state television. A strong 6.3 magnitude earthquake was detected at 12.30 Sunday afternoon in northeast North Korea, near that country's main nuclear test site. The underground test appears to be about 10 times more powerful than the last one North Korea carried out one year ago. It came just hours after the country released these pictures of its leader, Kim Jong-un, inspecting what North Korea claims is a miniaturized hydrogen bomb capable of fitting on an intercontinental ballistic missile. Last week, North Korea launched yet another ballistic missile, sending it over northern Japan in a provocative warning shot to the United States and its allies. The U.S. and South Korea responded by conducting high-profile bombing drills on the Korean peninsula. In July, North Korea conducted two successful tests of intercontinental ballistic missiles capable of hitting the United States and says its latest nuclear test was designed to perfect a nuclear warhead for those missiles. Ever since its elaborate military parade this past April, North Korea has warned that it was ready to conduct this nuclear test, but said it would happen at a time of Kim Jong-un's choosing. Kim Jong-un has significantly accelerated the pace of North Korea's weapons development despite international sanctions designed to cripple his regime. Just this year, he has launched 18 missiles, and this is now the fourth nuclear test carried out since he took over North Korea in 2011. 